races. So I did a video a little while back talking about club racing and what I thought uh, was kind of needed to shift in the industry and to see more support at the local tracks in club racing. But in fairness to big races, I'm going to do a video on big races and I'm going to talk a little bit about why big races are so awesome. So for me, as a professional racer, the big races are the place for us to measure and see where we stack up against the best of the best. And that's awesome. There's no real rush or feeling you can get uh, that compares to that. I mean, it's cool anytime you have a good result or win a big race or win any race. But when it's a major race and the pressure's on and everyone's there and it's a week long um, event and you're, you're kind of working on your stuff, getting through the challenges, the weather, the changing conditions, and you're able to come out on top, it's priceless. It's, it's awesome. Now, for guys who are maybe not at the professional level, the cool part about a big race is it's nice just to get away, see a new track, um, see the top guys, talk with them, uh, watch what they do on and off the track, and learn from them. So I'll touch a little bit on what I feel are kind of, uh, I guess, some of my favorite uh, major races. Um, one would be the IFMAR World Championship. And again, regardless of where the event is at, why I would list it as one of my favorites is because I'm a competitor. And the most rewarding achievement is to win at the highest level. World Championship is, is what we all kind of um, are gunning for and our goal, um, ultimate goal in racing is to win an IFMAR World Championship. Next would be uh, the Roar Nationals. Same thing. In North America, that's the highest race or the highest achievement that um, you could accomplish as a, as a U.S. racer. Other races that rank really high for me, obviously DNC. But I would say Silver State has kind of taken, taken over a little bit. DNC is still awesome because it's it's kind of like RC's Daytona 500. It's our kickoff race of the year. Guys have maybe made some changes, um, whether it's you know chassis sponsor, or engine, tires, things like that. And it's kind of the first race where you get to see um, them with their new equipment. And it's also we've had a little bit of a break. We've all kind of done a little bit of practice or testing behind the scenes and that's our first race to kind of show up and, you know, compete. But silver or Nitro Challenge can be difficult because of all those reasons I just said, but also you got to factor in the weather. And the great thing about Silver State is it's indoors. Another great thing about Silver State is it's at a casino in Las Vegas. So there's lots to do. Your family can come. If wife and kids want to hang out at the pool, they can hang out at the pool and enjoy themselves while you're racing and enjoying yourself with your buddies. If you're into gambling or the nightlife, everything is all there. It's, it's almost like you're going on an RC cruise ship. Like once you get on the ship or once you arrive at the casino, there's really no need to leave. You can eat, race, Go see shows, go bowling, gamble. Um, you can pretty much do whatever you're into. Lounge by the pool. So that's, that's a really uh, cool race. Another race that's really, really high on my list is the Mugen Challenge at LCRC Raceway. And what makes that race so special to me is the people. Um, the LCRC crew does such an amazing job the atmosphere at the race, um, the attention to detail, they just do an, an unbelievable job. And I know some guys will say, oh, you're, you know, you're biased because it's the Mugen race. And regardless of what name is on the race or what race LCRC is hosting, I would recommend trying to attend one of their races. Check it out for yourself. 
because again, they do an awesome job. The facility is amazing. Um, there's plenty of space and room um, if you want to camp for the event. Lots of people do camp, hang out at night. Again, just makes it really fun, laid back atmosphere. They have a dirt oval track. They have the eight scale off-road track, a really, really well stocked hobby shop and just, just overall really cool and exciting event. Another race that, that I think is, is really cool is Southern Nationals in Monroe, West Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, it's another indoor facility that's air conditioned. They always have awesome layouts, tons of elevation. And um, it's also a, a fairly short race. So they limit the number of, of entries and it's a race that you can fly in or drive in on Thursday, Friday practice, Saturday qualifying, Sunday mains, and you can fly or drive home on Monday. So it doesn't, doesn't take up quite as much time as some of the other big races. And um, again, track is really cool, holds up well. It gets a little bumpy, but um, yeah, that's, uh, again, just wanted to, I guess in all fairness to big races, give a little bit of a shout out to the big races and, and let, you know, let you know why I think those are, are great and enjoyable as well. Another event that's super crazy. Um, it's an event that I look forward to every year. I pretty much hate, hate it every year at the end of the event, uh, mainly because of being exhausted. Um, but Psycho Nitro Blast is, Kind of one of those bucket list races that I think everyone should try. It's not a race to really spend a lot of time hanging out because there's tons of track time. Uh, practice is, is insane, wooden jumps, the whole spectacle of um, kind of the, the Halloween decorations. And it's, it's a very unique race and, and very cool race, usually getting anywhere from 750 to 900 entries. So it's, uh, it's pretty insane. The name is, is very well fitting uh, for the Psycho Nitro Blast because it's, it's pretty psycho. So hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, we'll see you in the next video.